So we're exploring socially constructed reality. Basically, socially constructed reality can be defined or thought about in several different ways. Um, specifically for today though, we are approaching socially constructed reality and how it relates to your sense of self. So socially constructed reality is essentially the social constructs, so things around you that help to form your understanding of self, your sense of place, and the relationship to the world around you. Each one of us has our own understanding, our own knowledge of self. So the purpose of this lesson is to encourage you or to hopefully um, ignite a process of self-reflection um, that will serve as a catalyst for each of you individually to begin contemplating your sense of self and how that relates to the larger socially constructed reality that you're a part of. Each one of us have, has had different experiences uh, growing up and getting to the place that we're at right now. I'm um, obviously you could take in things into consideration as economic status, geographic location, race, gender, uh, sexual preference, religion. Um, all of these are factors that contribute to a unique uh, perspective and outlook on the world around us, which again inform and help to um, solidify and construct our socially constructed reality. So the way that I perceive myself in the world around me is, is essentially different than each and every one of you, and vice versa. Our sense of self has a lot to do with our understanding of socially constructed reality. So looking back um, in previous experiences, say experience you had in your childhood, uh, relationships you had with family and friends, uh, could be ongoing today, uh, schools, religion, community, society, all of these things um, help to reinforce uh, what we perceive as limitations or the way that things are in terms of the socially constructed reality around us. Each one of us has our own unique story that um, makes us who we are, makes up or contributes to our sense of self and our relationship to the external world around us. Um, personally, I'm a white American male born in Tempe, Arizona. I spent some time in the army. Uh, I spent some time in grad school. I spent some time in jail. I spent some time uh, intoxicated. I spent some time battling substance abuse. I spent some time researching socially constructed reality. And all of those experiences have contributed to my uh, desire to to understand myself better and then also to, to work to transcend um, socially constructed reality. Basically the limitations that have been placed on who I am as a person, um, how the outside world might define me, and then these expectations or limitations that I place on myself. So I'm most interested in understanding those, exploring those, and then being able to transcend them or move past them. Basically um, moving past self-imposed limitations. So now it's your turn. How do your experiences impact your understanding or comprehension of socially constructed reality? A good place to start is to just pull out a piece of paper, pencil or pen, and draw, you know, it can be a stick figure in the middle, which represents you, and then spheres or circles around you in terms of the different segments or different realms of a socially constructed reality that you um, have come to, to see or understand or maybe believe uh, that helped to influence or continue to influence and shape your understanding of the world around you. And I've included some images of my own experiences as an example. How does your perspective or understanding of socially constructed reality affect your sense of self? your relationships with other people, and your sense of place in the world. Once we begin to visualize or conceptualize these different realms of socially constructed reality, how can we go about transcending them?